As someone who isn't really into modded games, but wants to do more challenge runs, I, I wanted to do sort of a combination of the two. Why not combine the two for Elden Ring? The Convergence mod basically lets you play whoever you want, and as someone who isn't really a strength class user, I wanted to see how effective and or fun they are in this modded version of the game. Now, what is a Convergence mod, you might be asking? But it's a complete overhaul of certain systems of the game, from starting classes to new weapons, spells, bosses, areas, and so much more. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can download it, and uh, while you're here, why not subscribe? All that being said, jump into it. A lonely berserker has come to the lens between, and he shall get mad. Inventory here. Weapons south of Agil Lake. The defeating Hora Lou? Bruh. What in the actual fuck is this? Hora Lou is the second to last boss of the game. What is this? What? Are you saying that's like my ultimate weapon or something? There is no shot. There is absolutely no shot. I think what I'm going to do is simply progress through the game like normal and uh, do Godfrey. Is that the play? Let me get set up. Let me go over here first. Now, in my first playthrough of the Convergence mod, I basically explored everything there was to explore. However, that didn't necessarily leave everything in its location. Huh? What I mean by that is because a lot of the dungeons and because they have to accommodate so many different starting classes, a lot of them have basically just become starting locations for the classes. What is this? Wait a minute. They fixed the bridge? Wow. That is cool. Do I even have the upgrade? Bridge? Oh, hold on. I didn't use my thing. Axe talisman. There it is. Good. Yes. Yeah. Good. Wild strikes. That's fat. Oop, that is not fat. <laughs> Son of a... I don't know how Wild Strikes is going to be against Morgoth. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I honestly don't know how Morgoth's going to be. Because it's been a while since I faced him. Ow. Oh. Well, I staggered him. Really? You're just not going to get staggered? I guess I'll just fucking die, I guess. Not get staggered at all. Reset your poise upon going into phase two. Sure. Fuck me, I guess, right? Recovery time on wild strikes sucks balls. I'm sorry, what? I'm fucking sorry, what? Huh? Fine, I'll fucking come back. Like the scrub diddly up I am. Hi, Golem. That was a. I guess that was a boss fight. Elden Lord Bracers? What do you mean I get those bracers here? Increases strength by two. I'm very use grease. Let me go see about the um the mall. Uh, the mall is this does not enough poise damage. Fuck this. Go the other way. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I I need poise damage. I need to smash things. I need to just go bunk until they're all dead. Big thing, go smash. I got greedy. That was my bad. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even have the talisman equipped. The wall strikes isn't even doing the full damage. It's just been doing the base damage. Hold on. Okay, let's uh, let's equip the talisman now. Oh, jeez. You fucked me! <laughs> I know I can do this. What is charge R2? It's not shift left click, right? What oh, is shift re left click? Okay. Good. It's just standing there. Hello. Mana 
menacingly. Come on. Do it again. Oh. Okay. I'll just charge her to him, I guess. Charge her to the boss. Cool. I guess that's how I do that. I was making it way harder than I needed it to. Dara will? I mean, I'll give a shot, right? I got really nothing to lose. Oh, where's my stamina? Where, where was my attack? Where's my super Why didn't it go through? Like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. And I didn't need it. I just charged R2 his ass. Fine. I guess charge R2 the game. Graveyard north of Stormvale. Where could that possibly be? Are you serious? North of Church of Vows. But how far north? It can't just be laying out in the middle of a field somewhere, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Ooh, it's here. It is just laying out in a field somewhere. Yeah, it is just laying out in a <laughs> field. All right, whatever. Dex. Dex. Twin blade. Castle Morn, I guess, is my next objective. But it's like, it's so... Blech. All right, look. I know day one was a little slow to start, but that's usually how the beginning of Elden Ring goes, right? It gets better in its coming days, trust me. Day two. Now, my understanding is the golem leading into this area is no longer here. So, and this has become sort of a dungeon. Castle Morntown, yes it is. Okay, new weapon. All right, I don't want to get madness fied because I can just enter the Eye of Sauron. God damn it. What the fuck? Ow. I wonder, does madness reduce my, um, my magic stat? My MP? Where is your stagger at all? You have none? Don't do this to me, game. There has to be. Oh. I see. Huh? Bruh. Fuck you, game. Recover, please. No recovery time, okay? Really? You're doing this now? Really? Dude, move! Move! Dodge, you piece of shit. Stagger animations. I have an idea. I'm gonna see how well the arena works to my advantage. Because, I mean, I feel like I'm underleveled in, the, in terms of health. But not necessarily damage, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to try to hit him around the arena. Well, I mean, that sort of worked, but something's not working here. Remnant crafting. Oh, 5% physical damage. Son of a... Dude, there's, there's, no other, there's no other explanation for why this area would exist other than to be the perfume starting zone. Wait, this is the other side of the door, right? Yes. So, previously, I don't remember ever coming into Castle Morn proper. Oh. Hello, Leonine. Attack him. Good, thank you. Drafted Blade Greatsword, huh? Is that why I was here? Yeah. 40 fucking strength, dude. Some of these weapon requirements are absolutely absurd. So, I mean, I guess to alleviate some of them. I'm going to get 30 Vigor and then just pump everything else into Dex or into, into Strength. Well... Widge. Oh, there's the Grace. Fundamentals Gino. Wait, is this Gino Machino? Yo, that's sick. That is insane. Yep, lever activate the gate. Okay. Misbegotten? No. Dairu, Scavenger King. Yeah, you're a... Yeah, you're just a misbegotten. It's a sick model. Holy! Oh! Hell yeah, dude. What a crazy model. Now, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do wild strikes off on this guy, right? He's just too fast. Oh, he loses his... Oh, and becomes Horaloo? 
What a crazy ass fight, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. He like throws his weapon at me. This is probably my favorite fight in the entire game so far. It is so cool. Hello? Charge R2 is just non-existent. And of course I can't drink. Come on. Fuck you, dude. I'm stuck on tombstones. What is this? Yeah, that's Horolu shit. Wait, Elden Beast? Elden Radigon too? Dude! I need to stop going for charge R2s. R1 should work. It'll just take longer. Equip it in both hands, you piece of shit, dude. You fucking idiot! Why do you do this? Where everything just fucking adjusts into one hand. Now, equip it in both hands, you idiot tarnished. Of course. Of course he just has more damage than I heal. Would you say that's a sign I'm underleveled? Maybe. What the fuck is this scaling? It goes from 458 to 467? This S scaling is cracked out of its goddamn mind. Ow! Alexander Smash, I guess. Little tiny... Hot friend. Ow! Oh! He seems to have a little more openings in Phase 2. I will keep that in mind. So I just need to get get through phase one. Man, the person just staggers me. No shot. I wasn't even greed. He just attacked me faster than I could dodge. Oh, I'm just getting so unlucky. I guess I'm just not gonna dodge. You know what? Fuck you. You're not worth my goddamn time. Phase two. Thank you. Why did it... Are all Remembrance bosses going to be that hard? I did not know this was a Remembrance boss. I had no idea this was a Remembrance boss. Is this going to take me to Radon? I doubt it, but it's worth a shot, I guess. Wait, it, take me, it takes me to sewers? Why does it do that? Why does it take me to sewers? Rips. Rits. I will die if I drop down. Means right here. Bruh. Oop. I didn't jump. I had a feeling I could have made it if I just jumped. <laughs> yeah, I did it! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, I did it! Look at this place! <laughs> fuck yeah, I did it! Oh! God, that was crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I was just trying to get my fucking weapon back out. <laughs> it's down. Son of a bitch. The one time I actually do something cool in this game, the game is just like, nah. Well, I guess that was more me because of user error. Instead of trying something cool and getting it to work, sewer skip, I, I instead have to now go through sewers like a normal person. And it takes me. Oh, two hours. I could have been done with Moog, with sewer Moog, two hours ago. What is this obscene damage? Day three. It's Moogin time. I'm not good at fighting Moog. And I'll eventually need to kill the real one. 
Can I dodge these? No, because my recovery time is ass. I cannot see shit. I cannot see shit. And the fact that all the goddamn get in the way is resets after every single attempt fucking suck. Because I'm going to get caught on the goddamn furniture every single attempt. Guess I'll just die. Thanks. Thanks for getting me trapped in the goddamn furniture. Yeah, I can't see anything here with all the shit on my screen now. I'm about bitch. Yeah, I have to do the the thing at the start of the fight, otherwise the shit on my screen is just gonna get so overwhelming it just blocks my vision. Come here, Moog. Thanks, no, you come here. I'm just fucking dead! God, these fucking animations suck ass. And I can't bait him anywhere because he doesn't do anything. Like, I can't run away from him because he's just gonna stand there like a dumbass. And if I try to attack him, he's just gonna whirly dirly dirly dirly. Huh? You wanna run that by me one more time? Whirly dirly dirly dirly. The problem with Moog is I'm not learning anything. Cause... What are you doing? What is this endless combo? Sometimes it goes into one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's eight, sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's ten. Sometimes it's infinite, and you just have to learn it. You just have to get fucked, because you don't understand it. Even if you do understand it, I can just say fuck you and kill you. I do like that. Really? Right on the boundary. Right on the boundary. And now you're throwing it at me. Fuck me, I guess, right? None of this feels like progress. None of this feels like I'm learning the fight. Because this script is just... Random, almost. Nice. And when I try to dodge, I get trapped on furniture when I stop my roll, and then so he just thrusts into me and I die. You know what? I'll go. I'll go do Raya Lucario, just because I have a feeling Renal is gonna be easier, even though it's not part of the storyline and what I need to do. Just so I have some sense of progress. This fucking piece of shit area. Oh right. This is balls. Huh? I probably should have just ignored it. Because balls is easy as... Well, balls. Bruh. Hey, balls. We got you. Yup. Balls. Balls. Okay, what is this? I actually need this because... Gold scare, please. I would like some money. I won't be needing this. Temporarily. Oh wait, this is the key. Okay. That's what- Alright, alright. I understand. Never mind. Never mind. I got it. I had forgotten about this door. Protect us! Oh. oh wait, I don't need a medallion to operate the lift. I will say, whenever I'm not in a encounter with the boss that's not absurd or frustrating beyond belief, lift is okay. It's kind of fun. It's got its Ups and downs, of course, with everything, but it feels fun to just to, like go around and smash them. Hello, Stellan. I mean, Grand Library Key. And then I'm happy that this takes me, that takes me there, then allows me to open the door. What's my, um, is it damage negation? Eh. Okay, Vanilla. Attack her, one more. Bruh. No shot. It's all because I tried charging the R2s. Alright, well now what? Repost and then drink. Or just kill her. Big Moon. Big Moon. Dare I try Radon? I'll, uh, I'll kill this BBK real quick and um, go from there. Oh, right. Right, they moved the BBK. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I really like the um, the new addition out there. Okay, now let's um, let's try this and then I'll try more Erd Trees. I don't remember any of these. Oh, right, the Kindred of Rot. Well, actually, Mount Gilmere. I know one is actually an avatar. 
So it should be fine. Nice boys you got there, buddy. Alright, uh Mount Gilmere. War Torn Battlefield. UTS? Did they change this into a UTS? I don't quite know what else I can do here. Other than just sort of not get cucked by furniture. But I have like 200 more health, so let, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think we're fine. No, oh, I couldn't even... I got staggered and I fucking... Oh. Honestly, that went way better than I thought. I mean, I was obviously taking less damage from the Physic, but beyond that, I, I couldn't tell you. I honestly think I just needed a mental reset because these fights are going pretty substantially better than the previous attempts were. Every fucking time. I have no idea how to dodge that attack. Every fucking time. This is what you're doing now, Moog? What the fuck are you doing? You have not. You swung your goddamn weapon once! You did that entire thing just throwing blood on my fucking face! That is the first time I've ever seen him do nothing but blood the entire goddamn fight. No, you bitch! Okay, greedy. Okay, come on, come on, Monk. No fucking way, dude. I should have just ran up and attacked him. I was trying to play it safe because we were both at 1 HP. No! <laughs> oh. God damn it. Dude. Dude! Oh my god! What the actual fuck was that? Dude, I cannot believe you did that. You're just literally doing nothing for the first last 20 seconds of that phase. And nothing happened. I can't even do anything because you're just going to counter me and drop fire on my face and I have to make space. But then you're just standing there doing fucking nothing. And if I try to go in, you're just going to one hit away again. When he's that low, I just need to be aggressive. That's all it is. Fuck you, mug. What an asshole. What an asshole. Goddamn time. I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna do a dog. Day four. Smashy smashy. Yeah, this is fun. This is so fun. I can see why people like this playstyle. Because it's fun smashing things. Can I help you, buddy? Are you doing okay? Hey, there you are. Thank you for joining the party. So now, I gotta deal with Dak, right? Gravity guy? I'm just a little bit over leveled, right? I wanna go into Caleb first. Just because I wanna see how fast I can kill Nile. Or something like that. I also need to not die to exact. I don't care where your stagger is. You're all dead to me. Dead to me anyway. I mean, I could probably take on Exx because I have the health. I'll try Exx. I mean, he's gonna run away and rot everything, but that's gonna fucking suck. I'll give it a couple attempts. I'll go from there. Oh, that that's good damage. Oh, I actually made it. Oh, wow! I didn't even realize where his face was. One attack on the Durgan. 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 Durgan? Durgan. Thank you. Okay, and now we go kill Redan. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work, because I've only faced Redan one time without summons and it did not go very well. We'll see how this goes. Round one, fight! Dude, I cannot see anything here. Fucking Redan, dude. Oh my god! Dude, I, I legit cannot see shit. Round two. Fight. I cannot see anything here. Don, what are you doing? 
No! Oh my god, I didn't realize how much health he had. Or I had. Fuck. I was not paying attention to my health. I hope this isn't another Moog scenario where that's the closest attempt I ever get. One more attack. Don't get greedy. Oh, okay, good. That was almost really bad again. But, we did it, so we're fine. Second keystone down. Interesting. So they added a couple more bosses to this, so it's either Dairu, Aina or Asgardian, Godric, or Renala. And then the second one is Radon, Estelle, Rikard, or one of the new bosses they added. I got one, two. So now three is Moog, Melania, oh, um, Portisax or Placidisac. Those are the other two options. And then you need, you need to kill Malakath for one, and then Morgoth for the other one, so. Alright, DTS. Oh. Nice job. Sunflower. There has got to be something here, right? It wouldn't make all this sort of environment be unable to traverse it. Rather, they wouldn't make this environment traversable if it didn't lead to anything, right? Even if it was just like a, a secret or a, a goodie. Oh! Wait! No, this is just a shortcut. Is that that... Oh! Right! I remember. Pepperd Farm members. Cool. So I actually do need to go to... Go through... Lindell, but I do have a... A shortcut that takes me to... Uh, the Morgoth door. Which would be really handy if I didn't immediately forget about it. Another Earth Tree Sentinel? Oh. Oh, hawk! I didn't want to see an Earth Tree Sentinel there. No! Oh my god, that lasts for so much longer. Oh my god, that lasts for so much fucking longer. If I can make it to that Grace without him spotting me, it should be fine. I can fight him now. Can I recover? Or nah? Fuck you, dude. Oh my god. Instead of taking the normal path there and taking this up the dragon that is now removed on your screen, they sort of force you to go straight along a path that I get lost on and forget how to climb a branch. So here we are. Well, the stake is still here. Oh, Seeger. Hellbearing Hunter. Ooh. Oh my god! Jesus. All right. Um, that hurt. That was a lot of damage. Holy shit. Need to move. Away from the wall. Move. Oh, you son of a bitch again. Dude, I couldn't dodge. I was staggered. And I will say, that's like the third time it's happened to me today. Let alone in this run. Damn it. Fucking no bearing ass hunter. Oh my god. Come on. No! Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna look dead. Dude, where is your... Hi, thank you. Alright. The Great Maze. What is this? Uh, Great Maze? Great Hammer. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. What is this? While this enchantment is active, your charged heavy attacks will detonate with omen flames? Let me get all the goodies around here. Elden Lord armor. I'm pretty sure that's actually my, my armor. There's, there's just no shot I'm getting out of this weapon. There's no chance I'm getting away from this thing. I think I got it. You know, I, have, I don't know that I've faced this guy with a uh, melee weapon until this playthrough, so... Really? You don't know if you face Morgoth with a melee weapon? What would you consider Starfist? Good. Good! Bye, Morgoth. Not bad. Okay. I can smash things. Smashy smashy! Three days later. I would like to just 
get right the fuck on with it because I am on a little bit of a time crunch here. I need to get this done before tomorrow at 5 p.m. 26 hours, which means I need to at least get Fire Giant down. Like, my goal is eat the game today, but I can't imagine that's going to be feasible. I'm just going to try my hand at Fire Giant. We're going to see how this works. All right. I am either stuck on his tree or his field. Attack. Oh my god. Dude, I'm not even... Oh wait, you didn't finish it? Oh, there it is. Really now? No, where is your stagger, dude? Or not. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Better. Maybe better. Where is- what in the hell? Come on, Fire Giant. Where is your stagger? I know I'm attacking your foot, like your- your armored foot, but come on. I need to not have Torrent die here. Please, please, please. Thank you. Thank you. I am so glad I was able to one-shot Fire Giant. But, I got a couple more roadblocks in my way. Ugh. What is this? AR 987? And it's still going up? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Alright, Fire Giant down. Now I just need Malakath Morgoth? Am I really that close to the end? Eh, it'll be alright. I really dislike Clergyman as a, uh, a melee fight. So this is probably going to take up the majority of my time. This and... Oh god, I still have to do Godfrey and Horaloo. Yikes. Alright, come on. Dude, I cannot see anything here. Hello? How? Nice. Okay. Is this phase 2 already? Alright, I am not in the middle of the room because of the phase transition. That is how that works. Ow. I'm hit here, right? Yep. Really? Yep. Just gotta keep running away from that. I'm hit here. Fucking hell. Need to roll again after that. I got no shot, dude. Hit him, hit him one more time, one more time, one more time. Did I get that greedy? Really? I got hit way too much. Like, I got hit way more than I needed to. But the uh, the holy damage resistance I have on my talismans really help. I'll just try it again. Because I'm pretty sure this is an easy, easy victory. Relatively easy victory, I'll say. Please. Phase. Fucking dog. Okay. Get away from the edge, Malekith. Oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure that um that goes where I am. Not not it's where is where he stab you. That would make a little more sense as to why that hit me this time. Oh no way. Fuck! If I just do both, right? Because I don't I don't need them well. Yeah, I don't need the money, but I, I just all of the damage? All of the damage. Please break your stance, dude. I'm hitting you with a Colossal and a jumping charged R2. Why are you- get up. Fucking dick. Dude! Dude, fucking- Stabby stabby, motherfucker. Where is your stagger? I don't understand where your stagger is. Jumping charged R2 with the Colossal? Like, four, three of these should have been fucking enough to stagger you, dude. Man, I just don't understand. I seriously don't understand why you weren't getting staggered. Neither did Beast Clergyman in that phase. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, so I have all five, right? And then I need to go to... Mountaintops? One. Two. Three. 
Four. All right, we good. We good. Yeah. Yeah. Burn Landil to ash. Burn Landil to ash. Now, before I do this, I have never left this area and then came back after getting the grease, but before burning the tree. You're already dead. I did not know this. Like I said, I've never left after beating Fire Giant, but before burning the forge. So it seems like this is triggered by killing Fire Giant, which I've uh, I've never done before. All right, we go burn. Burn that we burn. Can I leave Landell? I can just straight up leave. I can just straight up leave. I mean, yeah, that makes sense, but wow. Is this is not Gideon, right? This is Jack, Duke, whatever his name is. This is a. Uh, this is not gonna be a good time. I mean, it might be. Nice. Crucible Knight Godfrey has a shit ton of health. Ow. What is that attack? That's a grab. Good stagger, but still a shit, shit damage. Why do you do this? It's like Ranala's bullshit all over again. This animation recovery time is re-fucking-diculous, re dude. Thank you. It is just absolutely ridiculous how long the animation recovery time on this is. Ooh! Ooh! I finally hit the soft cap of 60... 60... Fucking six. And so it shall be. I think I have a handle on Godfrey at least, but Horalu is going to definitely be a different story. I am not good at Horalu. And I think the only time I got lucky, or the only time I was able to beat him in my previous run, was sort of luck. Alright, Godfrey. I'm gonna save my physique for uh Horalu. Let's try it. Ugh. Man, these these great axe recovery animations you just take for fucking ever. Dude, I cannot see anything here. Get up, drink twice. Okay. No stagger heading into Horalu. I didn't expect that, but sure. Of course I missed. Oh, I didn't get that attack off? Oh, I did. I'm, I'm staggered out of my help drink. Yeah, I made it. All right, that's a uh, that's some damage. Not not less than I thought, but okay. I, what is this? Come on. Hulu! Stab. Okay, good. Well, now. Okay. This has gone surprisingly smooth. Now, I just jinxed myself, obviously, because I, I one-shot Fire Giant. I, like, I beat Malakath in under five, five attempts. And then I one-shot the Gideon replacement. And now I just one-shot... Godfrey Horlu. So, all that being said, I know for a fact that Red Beast is going to be something else entirely. So, I'm streaming until 7. I have 3 hours to beat him. He only does plus 3, which means the Grafted Blade Greatsword. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, so they're both capped out, except. One is more offensive, one is more defensive. Which I guess is... Dude, that is fucking disgusting. This is... The Grafted Great Blade Sword is just better overall. It offers li literally better everything. It has a defensive... I mean, I guess if you really want the Ash of War, like AoE and farming, like... Did this late in the game, why are you still farming? Yeah, I'm this late in the game, why am I still farming? Axe Talisman, I need Stamina Recovery Speed. Oh wait, I don't need Stamina. They made it to where I could cast Torrent 
inside the arena. Which might fuck me up for a couple times. Hello, Redagon! Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Really, I couldn't see anything here. America's tits. Alright, come on. Dude, I cannot keep my camera straight when I'm fucking locked onto him during the grab animation. That is giga fucked. Oh, Radagon. Radagon, Radagon, Radagon. Gateway to the forge. Come on. Oh, you are over here. I don't know that I've ever recognized this place. Or thought to come here. There is... This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Increases strength by 2 and reduces weapon stamina cost by 4%. That is a shit ton. When you drink your Wonders Physic, you gain an effect that adds 5 additional stamina recovery, lowers the FP cost of weapon skill attacks by 20%, and adds 30 additional poise to your attack. When you drink a Red Flask, you gain an effect that decreases damage by 15%, attacks upon itself. When I drink, when I use Grease, when I drink a Blue Flask, I get 10% damage. For a minute. Dude, what in the actual hell is this armor set? What is this armor set? Is just leave it like this. Hey, look. Hey, wait. I am good free. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <sighs> Roll into him. Forward. W key. Not S. Hold W. Hold the W key for victory. Tiger. America's tits. I must be hungry. Hungry for fucking L's. I'm gonna try to relearn Radagon. Before I even think about all these, I want to relearn Radagon. That is a Fast. I mean, I guess a fully charged R2, right? Yep. I, I need to learn the difference in timings between trying to R1 all the time and trying to charge R2. Hello? Why didn't you attack? What are you doing? I'm trying to... Thank you. Now he's gonna start attacking faster. I'm not expecting a second stagger, but okay. I'm dead. Uh, I'm just gonna keep trying the uh, this strat because it seems to be working. Like I just need to figure out Radagon again. <sighs> That's the power of this physic. Oh, oh, these two? Red Beast. Elden Beast. I was not expecting Elden Beast. Now. This is all just R1s. There is no time for R2s. Nice. Is this dagger? No? Ring again. Oh wait, yeah, right. Yep, okay. Ugh. I wanna get out of my pants now with no HP here. Cars again. What is Kill him? Nice! Challenge complete! Yeah, in an hour and a half time. That is really fucking good. Let me try to formulate my opinion. I think that was 
a much more satisfying way to play the game for sure. However, it did take me a while to get used to the rhythm of when to attack and how to strike and all sort of stuff. So that was a one shot on Elden Beast. Like as soon as I got past Radagon, it was just Elden Beast was dead. The major pain points were bosses that struck faster than I could avoid their damage, like dodge roll or just sort of anticipate their attack. Namely, honestly, no one really gave me trouble. That's not true. Moog gave me fucking trouble. Moog gave me the most amount of trouble in this game. Aside from, I guess, Radagon, right? Radagon was the only other boss that took me like more than five attempts. Oh, that's not true. This fucking guy. The misbegotten Horalu thing down here. Because, as you can see, I'm using this weapon, the Grafted Great Blade Sword. This was my weapon of choice for the majority of the game, the vast majority of the game, just because of the obscene amount of damage it does. Like, I have 1,159 AR. I, I had so much damage throughout the entirety of the game. Just nothing really stood a chance, honestly. Except for Moog. But Moog, um, both Sewer Moog and regular Moog, took a fair amount of practice to get used to the mechanics. Honestly, I'm not even sure that Sewer Moog was, is ever worth doing. I think I have a new appreciation for strength users, though. The ability to smash stuff and just not care. Like, it's just you and your um, your weapon, your blade, your axe, your, your big smashy stick is just incredibly satisfying and incredibly fun to mow down every enemy in your path. I am not a strength user in any game. Um, I, I'm recently starting to branch out into that, like I just did basically strength in Liza P. And I did basically humongous, colossal weapons only, like heavy, heavy weapons. Like I started out as a strength user, and then this colossals only, basically. Once I got the Grafted Sword, it was just game over from there. Uh, so was just, this was basically colossals only. And I, man, I, I really, really like this. So, just how good are strength weapons in the Converters mod? Well, depending on the weapon, they're really good. It took me a while to really get on my feet due to the playstyle adjustments I had to make, but once I got going, I really just steamrolled through the entire game. Trying to push myself outside my comfort zone to use things that I'm not really used to is something I'm trying to do more of, and uh, I really think I hammered it home this run. I hope you all enjoyed this run. I'm not consistently a strength user by nature, but I had a lot of fun running around smashing things with a big stick. If you liked it, please consider subscribing, as it really helps the channel and it makes me want to do more of these in the future. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Lady.